Obviously, the primary place that most people send text messages from is from their primary smartphone. However, there's a feature that Apple folk have that Android people really haven't got to enjoy, and that's the ability to send text messages from many different devices, or perhaps whatever device is in your hand or in front of you. So what I'm going to do in this video, very quickly, is show you how you too can send text messages from whatever device you want. Now this could be your computer, this could be a secondary device you carry around like the Surface Duo, and I'm going to show you how to do both in this video. So the first thing you gotta do is go to the Google Play Store on your primary device, the device you actually send your texts from, and search for Google Messages. You're gonna have a nice blue icon. You may already have this installed on your device. A lot of phones do have this already installed, but if you don't, install it, open it up. It's gonna ask you to set it as your default messaging app. Go ahead and do that. Now let's talk about using this on a computer first. You're gonna to go to messages.google.com, link in the description. It's going to look like this. Now that you have Google Messages installed, you have this web page pulled up. Up here in the corner, touch the three dots and look for where it says device pairing. You should see it right at the top underneath mark all as red. Once you're in device pairing, you should see a screen that looks like this and you're just gonna select a QR code scanner. Now back on your computer, I like to hit this toggle to make it remember the computer. And all you gotta do is point your phone at that QR code as I just now did. And there are my text messages and I can send, receive, whatever you want to do. Now, if we pull this down, you may actually see an icon that looks like that. You can actually install this as a progressive web app on your Windows computer. So let's click that and hit install. We're going to go ahead and let it pin to taskbar and pin to start. And now anytime you want to send a text message from your computer, you'll have a little link that will open up without a taskbar and an address bar or anything like that. And it looks pretty good. I'll actually show you. Let's close it and let's open it back up. I'll kind of show you how long this takes for it to load. It's pretty quick. There you go. Good to go. So what about on your secondary Android device, or hell, maybe it's even an iOS device or something like that. Well, this is actually a really similar process. So let's connect here to my capture device for my Surface Duo. Let's go ahead and open up our web browser. In this case, I'm using Edge. Same deal. Let's go to messages.google.com. Dot com. Now here it wants you to obviously download the app, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on messages for web. Lo and behold, here you go. Let's toggle the same box. Pull up device pairing again on our phone. QR scanner again on our phone. Let's scan the QR code. We're good to go. We're actually going to allow it to send notifications. And now hit this pop up down here at the bottom. Add messages to home screen and install. Now just in case you didn't see that pop up, you can simply hit your little settings there, go to add to phone, install, add automatically, and then you can drag that icon right down there. And now when you open it up, kind of a similar deal, no address bar, no, no bar up at the top. It's going to look pretty much like a native text messaging app. And you can rinse and repeat this process on as many devices as you want. It's going to work well on pretty much any device. So that's the end of my quick little tutorial here on how to text from any possible device you would want to text from. Hopefully that's useful for some of you guys and gals out there. Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.